So today is Ask the Experts on Unshakable MD. As we continue to explore this topic of COVID-19 and how it affects the Parkinson's community. So here we are, still at home, self-isolating, social distancing, and it's been weeks now. We've kind of eaten a lot, drank a lot, watched a lot of Netflix, and uh, there might be weeks left. I mean, it's still raging around the world, and there isn't any immediate end in sight. So we're dealing with a lot of cooped up feelings and a lot of difficulty sort of coping with this new reality that we're facing. I thought it'd be interesting to ask some of the top PD experts how they felt about it and what the advice they could give us in the Parkinson's community on how to cope with this extraordinary time and how to make it through um, as successfully as possible. And here's what they had to say. This is a video from my friend Sonia Mador who's doing a great job keeping everybody really engaged during this COVID crisis and she's so awesome. She's putting together lots of tips and pearls for what do you do to to uh, to address this cabin fever that we get? And first, I always say, you know, what are my tips? Well, one, if you're not having enough cabin fever, then uh, then you might be getting corona fever. So a lot of cabin fever is a good sign. So cabin fever is good. So if you're feeling like you have cabin fever during this crisis, you're doing it right. Second. Just try to choose some activities that you enjoy. And remember also, you can go for a ride in, in the car and you know, and do that relatively safely and have somebody drive you around. And that way you can get out a little bit and stay within the confines of the, of the car with the windows up. You can take walks and just make sure that you stay clear of other people. But for the most part, it's a respiratory illness. So we want you to stay inside. We want you to, to make sure packages are delivered outside. They're left outside. You throw away those bags, wipe down those countertops, and just don't contact any people for the next few weeks and sit this one out because we'd like to keep you out of the hospital and healthy. And so this has been your pearl for fighting the cabin fever and um, and just, just, uh, just keep it up, okay? You're doing fantastic. Sonia, thank you for doing this for everyone in the Parkinson community. This is obviously an incredible time that we're facing in light of the ongoing corona crisis. I understand completely that people with Parkinson's disease or a form of atypical Parkinsonism are very worried. Worried that they might become infected, worried about worsening of their Parkinson's, worried about maybe an admission to the intensive care um, and developing a pneumonia. And in addition to all these worries, there is what I have labeled in a recent publication, which you can see here, uh, the hidden sorrows of this unfolding corona crisis. Even for people with Parkinson's who are not immediately infected by this corona virus, this time and era has a huge impact because of chronic stress. Stress is affecting all of us. But people with Parkinson's disease are exceptionally vulnerable to the negative effects of stress because of the lack of dopamine. And I've seen people with Parkinson's who I've known for many years who now suddenly develop panic attacks in this time of chronic stress. And another challenge is, of course, that people are now in quarantine um, trying to avoid becoming infected. But that leads to lack of physical activity and exercise, preferably on a daily basis, is essential to reduce the symptoms of Parkinson's and to hopefully taper the progression of Parkinson's disease. So I think it is essential that people, despite being grounded in their homes, try to stay as physically active as possible. Fortunately, physiotherapists, patient associations are now developing programs through telemedicine to bring exercise programs into your homes. 
Look at, for example, the Parkinson's Foundation in the United States, Parkinson's UK in England, the Dutch Parkinson Patient Association in the Netherlands, the European Parkinson's Disease Association, the Michael J. Fox Foundation, the Brian Grant Foundation, the Cure Parkinson's Trust, etc., etc. All these associations have developed useful information, websites, which you can check out and see if there's a program for exercise brought into your home or maybe reach out to your therapist and see if through video conferencing you can build a relationship and do some exercise in your homes. The same relates obviously to the stress. We now increasingly know that mindfulness or yoga can be very helpful in alleviating the negative effects of stress. And if you can't join a yoga club, try to bring the yoga into your home. Again, through video conferencing, asking your therapist if they have an online program or a class that you can join. Don't sit this crisis out alone and try to stay active and deal with these issues of physical inactivity and stress. And then finally, the third and maybe the most devastating um, consequence is loneliness. Your inability to go out to see your children, to see your grandchildren, is obviously another horrible negative effect of this corona crisis. Try to reach out to your friends as much as possible. Try again to reach out to the associations that I mentioned, who have developed programs for online meetings between your fellow patients. Try to speak to your children or your grandchildren by telephone or video conferencing. But don't try to fight this crisis alone, try to do it together. Alleviating the stress, being less lonely and staying fit as much as possible is essential for you to deal with the crisis as best as possible. And I wish you all the best and good luck and hopefully we'll speak again soon in better times. Hi, this is Dr. Daniel Weintraub, a Parkinson's disease psychiatrist at the University of Pennsylvania School of Medicine and the Philadelphia Department of Veterans Affairs. We are living in a very stressful time with the COVID-19 pandemic and patients with an underlying medical condition such as Parkinson's disease are under particular stress. What are some ways to manage this stress, maintain good spirits? Remember, the worst of this will pass. We're already starting to turn the corner in North America. Remember, human beings are amazingly resilient. Stick to your daily routine to the extent possible given social distancing. For instance, continue physical and cognitive exercise as possible. Continue to manage your Parkinson's disease as before to avoid temporary worsening of symptoms. This should include any psychiatric medications being taken. Try to maintain a good diet. Engage in relaxation techniques, including yoga, if possible. Take the opportunity of downtime to rediscover relationships, self-reflection, solitary activities such as reading. And remember again, this too will pass. Thank you everyone for joining me today and I hope you learned some tips and tricks that might help you successfully navigate this pandemic. If you like the video, then please hit the like button down below. If you'd like to know about future videos, which hopefully will come out every couple of weeks, then please hit subscribe. All social media links and links to the website are down below as well. And remember, especially during these trying times, learn how to thrive, not just survive with this diagnosis. Until next time, I'm Dr. Sonia Mather. Stay safe and stay well.